So last week we discussed the sails and you guys came back with a lot of responses and like the power shoots and things like that. Um, but I think uh, I've proven why an uh, asymmetric sail is going to be better than a uh, spinnaker in my case. This week we are going to discuss diesel engines or electric motors for a boat, for a catamaran. Feel the spray of the waves on my face. Atlantic Indian Ocean Blue. Whoa, land in sight to starboard. Got me home from where I roam. I've been in many discussions with um, many people on this topic because I honestly wanted to, to put into the, the Leopard 45 two electric motors and I looked at YouTube, I look at internet, I looked at many places. I even had discussions um, before I made, made my kind of like my mind up to yes I'm going to go for electric motors and then Leopard, uh, Robinson and Kane, the, the manufacturers of the boat did not want that boat to come out of the factory with electrical motors and I even had an email from the CEO discouraging me doing that so that made me th think again and I went to find, I actually went in more detail about that, you know, it was very nice to see and I've got all the links down below, you guys can just go down in, in, at the bottom of the description and you will see all the places I've been to, all the big names, all the good names, all the old names and there's a lot of new names. So I went there and I started doing a lot of investigation and so another thing we we started to get a lot of new progress right um, lithium batteries is is getting out to a point where we can store a lot of energy it can demand a lot of energy and it can also give a lot of energy at one moment um, so that means the electrical motors can also become very good, like Tesla, for example. I just like Elon Musk. Elon Musk just think in a different plane. I like that, that thought, that way that he's thinking Ooh. about the way that um, the Earth should work and how we need to go out into Mars and things like that. But one of his visions about the electric car, all-out electrical car, that was what started me. So, and I will show you about the Tesla wall and all of that so you guys can see uh, the power wall. Um, what is the difference between the power wall and uh, like for instance the Victron batteries. And I really enjoy the way that Tesla just shook up the, the fossil fuel. Um, the fossil fuel the bait. He, he basically with the roaster too is going to destroy the distance thing. He's going to destroy the speed and the power thing to make sure that that the roadster, the only car that can beat that roadster is a Formula One car or one of those long nose drags, dragster cars, right? Uh, not really a roadworthy car. So there's no super car that will be able to beat it, a fossil fuel car. Which is actually very brilliant. I mean, it just shatters things. He, he, yeah, his timelines is a little bit out, um, a little bit out. But he generally, what he says he's going to do, he's doing it. Maybe it takes longer than he think he's going to do it. But in general, he is doing it. So let's dig deeper into the statistics. Okay. So. <coughs> 
I arrived here at Soul Farm again in Le Longwe, Malawi. I'm still here. It is eight weeks and six days, five days now, that before I will leave Malawi. So, but who's counting, right? So from from the batteries, um, I think we need to ah from the diesel motors and from the electric motors. Let's look at just some of the advances that has been made in a couple of what in say the last eight years, ten years. So there's a there was a video in 2010. Um, and there's a lot of talk around that video. In the sense, if so, if someone is giving me the thing to say, look at this catamaran. It's a uh, and um, this catamaran has uh, has electric motors in it, and it was great. But um, it was it is the it's a 410 Lagoon catamaran, and I think the name was Waypoint. So Waypoint video actually made quite a lot of noise in the in the industry in the catamaran industry, and and that was the last video really from a cruising cat, a cat that weighs sixteen thousand tons empty, and if you load it up with food and water and fuel, is about eighteen tons. There is no other at this moment. Um, video out there of actual working cruising cats on YouTube at least uh, maybe there is that I couldn't find but the alarming thing was that in 2010 was the last video and lo uh, very big discussions around electric motors so the other boats that is coming out or other videos that are coming out is all small boats all just like little ant ones or um, Fishing boats, uh, like you know, like bass boats and and things like that. So boats that can go on 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 the fresh water, not necessarily ocean crossing, uh, ocean going vessels. Um, there is a couple of ferries. There's a couple of small small catamarans, lightweight, not not uh, ones that's 15 tons and above, uh, like 40 foot and higher. Um, I, I, I couldn't find it. If you guys have found that, um, please post below because I'm following quite closely how these things are working so let us look at, at some of the things after that that I could pick up for example just now two days three days ago the world record for um, electric motor boat has been broken and here is a picture for of that boat so they went 142 kilometers an hour um, so that that is going the same route as what Tesla is going to show the people yes power is all is plentiness then also to say yes we need now the range so we will go get later to the range then also the club swan the club club swan 36 foot so this is an awesome um, it's like a racing boat very lightweight but the auxiliary power will be from torpedo so if you look at the uh, that one it's actually quite cool nice cute boat I, I actually like it and then there's the 40 foot catamaran which looks from the pictures and from the website that it is still a concept not necessarily a already finished boat but look at the specs if you look at the specs you will see this and I just want to highlight this so first of all they compare it against a lagoon for a 45 foot lagoon and then also so that is the first few things but if you look a little bit down you will see the range is over no 50 nautical mile on full charge and that varies with the speed and sunlight so <laughs> what does it mean so it means 50 nautical miles without any sunlight without any wind and when you do get it it will start charging again the batteries so that you can go further than 50 miles or is 50 miles with the sunlight and the wind? I don't know. Um, I'll, I've done some calculations, and if you just stay a little bit longer, you will see um, about the calculations. Okay, so you can see it's a 40, 40, 
a 44 foot. Um, so it is a pretty big cat. Uh, no sales. There's options for a sale, but there's no sales. And what is the next thing? So Volvo Pinto also started now making full-blown marine electrical motors engines and their target date is 2021 to have a full-fledged uh, uh, engine out and and this is one of the more most m most well-known names the volvo our engines is janmar i've not seen that janmar has ever, have, have been in um, in this race yet um, so if Volvo is entering, then it means yeah things are going great, and uh, I think Volvo also have the Volvo car that is electric car they're bringing out. So there is definitely movements going, and you can look down below for more links of other uh, manufacturers, um, Electroprop and things like that. So there's a couple of them. Just look at the links below. If you don't find a link that you know about, yes, please give it to us so I can keep an eye on all of them. And so there is definitely great progress being made. Good evening. Um, yeah, I moved moved positions again. Um, I'm now back at home. So let us look at uh, at a, at a few more things that has a few more progress that we can see over the years. So the the deep blue torpedo is actually pretty cool boat um, definitely it's a it's dinghy size but definitely not not going to be my dinghy um, but if you look at the specifications then you can see that they use 32 kilowatt lithium ion batteries um, to produce 60 kilowatt or, or 80 horsepower uh, the engines are 60 kilowatt uh, or 80 horsepower and the batteries is um, 32 kilowatt but this one this little boat here cost if you take the leopard 45 out of the factory off the factory floor a bare boat it is this boat here is costing a quarter of a leopard 45 catamaran from off the floor so you can already see the lithium batteries is busy taking its toll here. Um, that back seat, I most probably think that the whole back seat is just battery. <laughs> so um, anyway, some something just to to think about. Okay, let's now look at the, the the statistics. So I'm going to try and bring apples to apples. I know it's oranges and it is apples. But I'm going to try and make the oranges apple and therefore a lot of things will go wrong. The probability of things going wrong is very great. If, if you didn't see that I make a mistake somewhere, let us know. Um, I'm not sure I can edit a video on YouTube, but it is then out there. But the, the, the idea is that I will try and use the same fuel tank that we will have the diesel fuel tank on a, on a Leopard 45. We will use that as a measure and we'll use the engines that we use now as 245 horsepower Yanmar engines. So we will have the equivalent for horsepower to, to we move it over to kilowatts and we take the 700 liters, we convert it to kilograms, then we know how much batteries can we put into there and then just as an exercise go from there to see where we will end up. So. So I'm going to show you now the theoretical uh, range of the Leopard 45. It is theoretically. So no nasty things below that, yeah, all of these things. I'm just going to say it again. It's theoretically. So here it is. If you look at the red line, that is the, the half, half loaded and a full loaded is around 19 tons. <laughs> That's uh, pretty a lot of weight that the, the leopard can, can, can take. But if you now look at the, let us go with the blue curve, right? So, or actually any curve for that matter, but let's look at the blue one and you can see 
after five knots, it is actually the curve is going much, much more steeper down. So it's not the house speed. People need, need to be understanding. This is the speed where the diesel engines, the water resistance is busy overrunning the diesel engines, the power of the diesel engines uh, or the prop, uh, basically the propellers, right? So if you look at that blue curve at around five knots, I think anything, say three to five knots is pretty okay. And then um, after five knots, if you look at theoretically eight, nine knots, then you will have around 300 nautical mile range. If you add 500, then your range is 800, and it doesn't get much better from between three and five. So I will use then about 40% of the, of the 45 horsepower, 38% if you want to be exact. Then, so I will not use a full power, so I will use not 45, uh, 45 um, horsepower, but say 40% of that. Let us look now at the numbers. So the numbers that I'm going to show you now is uh, first of all 45 horsepower. So let's convert 45 horsepower to kilowatts and then that will be 34 kilowatts. If you take now that 34 kilowatts and we're only using 38%, then we're actually using 13 kilowatts of that, of that same engine. And that will bring us then at a range of 800 nautical miles. So this is what we need to try and, and do. So if you also look at these numbers, you will see that uh, um, 700 liters of diesel weighs 522 kilograms. So now I want to try and replace that with the with batteries. So first of all, the 5522 that will be to determine how many batteries we're going to use. So that is our fuel tank. So let's replace the fuel tank with batteries. Um, it is unfair, I know, I know it's unfair, but let us just see this through for for one moment. Okay, so the Victor N200. Ampere battery, the Victor, Victron 200 Ampere battery is 2,000, 2.6 kilowatt. So if you look at 2.6, it one of the batteries weighs 42. So if you take 42, you divide it into this the 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 kilograms of the of the diesel, then we can have around 12 batteries. 12 batteries will be 504, and I think the 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 diesel was 522. So it's very close. For the 12 batteries, I will have a total of 31 kilowatts. So 500 kilograms will give us then um, 31 kilowatts. Uh, so, so just for the price, that same amount of batteries will cost you $36,000. Um, the Tesla Powerwall, here is a Tesla Powerwall and here is the specifications for the Tesla Powerwall. So you will see the, the Tesla image that I give you is I'll show you is actually a Powerwall on the outside. So it means that Tesla Powerwall can handle weather, but we all know weather um, like fresh water weather and salt water weather is definitely not the same. Tesla is not marine. Or the Tesla wall is not a marine um, quality or marine certified device at this moment. But bear with me. This is the specifications for for the Tesla, and and you can see it is actually pretty pretty awesome. So let's now take that thing and let us see how much we can get from the Tesla. So it's five kilowatts at uh, kilowatts for one one power, power wall. One weighs 120 kilograms, so 120 kilograms is then what we need to divide into the 500 and something. So uh, 522. So we get four of them to make up exactly 522 kilograms. So we will have four of them. So four of them will give us then 22 kilowatts. And the price for that is 24,000. So you can see that. Um, it is less. The Tesla wall is definitely less uh, than the than the Victron. But now, okay, let us bump up the 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 price. So we buy the same price Tesla walls, 
then you will see that it comes down to um, seven that we can use seven of them and it is then 33 kilowatts which is more than a victorin but if you look at the kilograms <laughs> the kilograms is now 795 kilograms that's a that's a lot of batteries that you will have on your boat let's use that now and determine we have now our fuel and we know the weight for the fuel we know the price for the fuel and we know also how many how, well, the size is of course much more than a diesel fuel tanks but let us now for now just go with that here is the the, the ocean world um, specifications and because the leopard have, is using sail drives we can only go for the sail drives so if we go for the sail drive the sd15 you will see that it is for 40, 45 foot, the multi hull is for 45 foot, but it's 22,000 pounds, and that is half the weight of the Leopard 45. So <laughs> we're already a little bit down there. So if you look at the 65 foot, 44,000 pounds, that is more or less the 19,000 um, kilograms that we are looking at. But let us go with the, with the SD15, that's a sail drive. Um, and that is uh, 15 kilowatts. That's a. Uh, that is how many watts the the SD15 is. There's the price for the propulsion and also the price for actual batteries and also for the for the generator. Okay, let's plug that into let's plug that into our Excel spreadsheet. So if I plug that into the Excel spreadsheet, we say. It is 15 kilowatts. Then our runtime with that same Victorin that is 31 kilowatts will then be around two hours. Two hours. That's not far, right? If you say how many, how many, how far can we go with that? Then you will see we will go around nine nautical miles, which is not, <laughs> not even close. To 800. So what do we need to do to beef it up then? So we need to put more batteries there. Lots more batteries. So how many more batteries do we need to do to get that? And then you will see that Leopard cannot handle the weight. So the weight and the range is the killer at this moment for this. Yes, we have a 2.2 or we will have a 2.2 kilowatt solar panel. So that solar panel will help us. The motor alone is 15 kilowatts. So the solar panel cannot, the solar panels cannot even drive the motor because the motor is 15 kilowatts. So if we look at the, if we look at the 15 kilowatts that we need, um, so we can stop. The sun can charge. The wind charger can be. There can be a wind turbine. So the wind turbine can charge. Um, while we standing still or drifting or floating or sailing but if you're in a storm if you're in in a current like a, a tidal current then you need to get out of that situation and there's no wind i think you would like to have to know yes i can press a button and the engine will start and the engine will help me not always sure the engine can take you out of all the currents or out of all the storms that you want, but at least you have something that can help you most of the time. So it is a problem, and this is the main reason why I have not yet decided to go for that, because you need a lot of batteries or you need a lot of charging things. So, yes, there is advantages of it is quiet. That's a very, very good one. Um, it's not that quiet, but it's much quieter than a diesel engine, for sure. Um, but it does have that whining. It does have that noise. So it is quiet. Let us say it's quiet. It's clean. It's clean power. The fossil fuel, by the way, I think diesel is actually, or, or oil is not fossil fuel. I think it's a mineral. I just put it out there. It is clean power, so you use the sun, you use the wind to charge the batteries and so on. And yeah, for sure, lithium and the, and the magnets, the permanent magnets, the mining of that is, does have an impact on the environment. 
but it's definitely not the same as an oil spill or the same as smoke that's going up into the air and, and carbon, the carbon footprint is definitely lower. And then also uh, the motor, when you're sailing, the motor itself can then generate. So you can actually set the motor that if you go below five knots, it kicks in as a motor. And when the sails is going faster than five knots, then the motor start generating electricity for you. Thank you. That's, that's it what I have for today. Um, if you like the video, press a thumbs up. You will not be, you cannot beat that one guy. That one guy that does a thumbs down is faster than any one of you guys. By now that thumbs up is already, the thumbs down is already there. It's, that's, it's just fast. So, and subscribe please. If you want to, please subscribe. Um, we will do many more things. So next week, you guys must maybe also bring me a topic. What topic do you would like to me to discuss? Um, because it's actually sometimes topics that I missed because I'm not interested in that, like the SSB radio. And then the people said, um, but that's very important. So I, I had to put down why I actually dismissed the SSB. So if there's a topic that you guys want me to go through, because I'm sure you have the same questions as I do. And these are the big questions that I have tackled. But if there's other smaller questions, please. Put them down in the description below let's 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 look at that um so next week pietro is going to do some stuff you as you know we are busy with the online skipper courses um, and for the old guys you can basically start skipping now that video because it's going to be mainly about terminology and things like that um, things that we didn't know exist and and so on so it will be a quick rundown of that it's not going to be too long see you next week Got me home from where I roam